Hey everyone, I'm Jensen. It's Wednesday, October 7th, and from the vice presidential debate to Dolly Parton, I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop today. But first, let me get you all caught up on the latest coronavirus data from the state. Today, there were 1,424 new cases of coronavirus compared to the 21-day average of 1,057. 23 deaths were reported compared to the average of 20, 119 hospitalizations compared to 73, so another jump here, and 17 ICU admissions compared to 12. And locally, the mayor of Tiffin announced today that he has a confirmed case of coronavirus. Mayor Aaron Montz tweeted that right now his symptoms are relatively mild, but he'll be monitored closely for any changes. Montz said that he developed very sudden symptoms similar to the virus yesterday. And while we're at it, let me give you a quick update on the president's condition. President Donald Trump has returned to the Oval Office for the first time since he was diagnosed and hospitalized with COVID-19. He has been recovering in the White House residence since he returned from a three-night hospital stay on Monday and is likely still contagious. But White House officials say they've installed extra safeguards to protect staff requiring full PPE. A spokesperson for the president has said that he's being briefed on a potentially devastating hurricane headed towards the Gulf Coast and stimulus talks. And while we're on that subject, here's what Trump has said so far. Yesterday, he put a stop to relief bill negotiations until after the election. However, today, he called on Congress to send him a standalone bill for stimulus checks of another $1,200. I am ready to sign right now. Are you listening, Nancy? Trump said on Twitter last night. He also urged Congress to immediately approve $25 billion for airlines and $135 billion for Paycheck Protection Program to help small businesses. Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin talked briefly this morning about the chances for a standalone airline rescue. Pelosi directed Mnuchin to a measure she tried to pass Friday on short notice after fast-track procedures, but only after Democrats made changes that Republicans weren't big fans of. These talks have been troubled from the start, and since July, Congress hasn't been able to close in on any agreements both sides could be happy with. But should anything get passed, we will, of course, let you know. And tonight, the vice presidential hopefuls square off in Salt Lake City. Vice President Mike Pence and California Senator Kamala Harris will debate tonight with safety measures in place, including a plexiglass barrier separating the opponents. Pence had initially objected to that request, calling it medically unnecessary, but the Commission on Presidential Debates already agreed to have them, and Pence's team said their presence wouldn't dissuade him from attending. This is a big chance for voters to see whether Pence and Harris are in a position to step into the presidency at a moment's notice, which could be a real possibility, as 74-year-old Trump continues to fight coronavirus, and Biden, at age 77, would be the oldest person elected to office. The debate kicks off at 8.30 p.m., and we will have full coverage on air and online. But enough with all of that, let's look at something fun and local. Reading was a huge part of my life growing up, so this story is really important to me. Ever since Dolly Parton started her free book program for kids called Imagination Library, more than one million books have been gifted to children each month. And if you're in Lucas, Wood, or Ottawa counties, you could join in the fun. How cool is that? Parton was actually inspired to create this program by her father, who wasn't able to read or write. And according to the United Way of Greater Toledo, 11,510 children across all three counties are currently enrolled. So that's encouraging to see. Visit the United Way of Greater Toledo website to sign up your kid for the Imagination Library and they'll get a free book every month. So easy as that. But that is all I have for you today. If you liked that video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm Jensen and now you are in the loop.